I pick up a memory I thought I lost it long ago Good morning, Sven. Good morning. Today you released uh, the report for the third quarter and once again you conclude that Nederman stands strong and has improved order intake and sales in three out of four divisions. It's a challenging market, obviously, we can see that from other companies. Uh, for the group as a whole, the order intake uh, currency neutral was at the level of Q3 last year. Sales declined with almost 7%, where it's the process technology division mm. who pulled down the result. So it's a challenging situation for uh, process technology. At the same time, the division has improved the beta margin. How do you look at the market situation and the improved margin? Is that something we can expect when the sales is going down or are there other reasons uh, activity is done? No, well, uh, what we can say is we are very pleased that three out of uh, four divisions are having a growth when it comes to order intake. Uh, that's, uh, we have to remember it's a very challenging market. Uh, uh, PT, which we have known, is very dependent on large investment and we've seen that for a long time. We, we have seen the indication, so it, it's not a surprise. What is very, very pleasing is that <coughs> we have turned the tide when it comes to profitability in PT. We have a focus on aftermarket, we have a focus on not uh, embracing and taking on what I call bad project uh, or extreme challenging. We are within our comfort zone. We are technically very strong and we show record margins, uh, which bodes very well because the market will change. Uh, we have seen some increased activity, especially in the recycling of material, uh, in, in this case, very much in the metal side, etc. So <clears throat> it depends. We we have a lot of uh, macroeconomic challenges uh, to to uh, uh, look after, and we can't do anything about it. And that means that there is a certain hesitancy to take on board large investments. We believe that we will see uh, during beginning of next year a, a bit of a easing here. And having then a, such a strong profitability, we will see that uh, helping us to have an even better situation. So we are moving forward. We are improving uh, in all divisions when it comes to our competition competitiveness we have all of that so I'm quite positive despite that we have a tough market situation so so you have mentioned the other divisions but if you just summarize uh, each one of them uh, for the quarter yeah <clears throat> EFT has had a period where there has been very few mid-size uh, orders uh, we've seen in September we got a few larger orders here. Uh, we see that they have a successful change in, in some of the traditional industries in the metalwork and so it's a bit slower woodworking in Europe, etc. We are then refocused a bit more on uh, food, uh, yeah, for uh, us as an example, or general dust application. I think they are doing well. Uh, in 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 so uh, and they actually had a very strong order intake in uh, Q3. Uh, unfortunately, were we were not able to ship all of that um, partly because of um, the uh, storm. Helena uh, uh, that uh, stopped some of the U.S. Uh, distribution and we also got some of the large orders a bit later than we have expected so uh, they will be delivered uh, this quarter and uh, next quarter. And uh, and the <coughs> uh, sorry, monitor and control. Uh... Monitor and control they continue to have a good order intake. There has been some uh, 
delays in shipments but uh, uh, of vacation uh, uh, period but uh, the order intake is uh, boding well for the future and dr filter also looks dr good. filter has an exceptional month uh, or quarter again they are doing exceptionally well we are also now uh, taking the decision to uh, increase further increase the capacity especially for the heavy duty the <coughs> large uh, uh, ductwork uh, that goes uh, to uh, EV batteries, it goes to uh, heavy industries. Uh, it's an area where we haven't been as strong before, but we are growing very rapidly at the moment. Uh, and uh, we are also now starting the installation of the ADVs uh, and further automatization of the factory. Again, our philosophy of increasing the distance and efficiency and capability compared to, to uh, competition. Mm. The beta margin for the group as a whole improved slightly compared to Q3 last year. Is it PT or is it other things that make no, it but it's, uh, That's a mix of this. We, uh, I think we can be pleased of that. We had significantly lower volume, 6.8% lower <coughs> sales volume, and still we are increase our, uh, we're increasing our profitability. I think that bodes well for steadily, a steady march towards our different uh, targets we have, uh, financial targets we have. Um, th there are, uh, so, as you say, I mean, uh, d weaker demand in certain industries, but you invest in what you call growth promoting activities. What kind of investment is it that you're doing and what will they do for the future? No, but <laughs> what we do is we are, we are uh, first of all, we continue to deliver new solutions, new products. We have an MCT, we have received uh, further acknowledgement and, uh, uh, and uh, certification for our mobile units. We have launched new um, HIVAC units uh, uh, with the features, especially the feature is uh, lower energy consumption and more efficient product. We continue to do that uh, all the time. I just mentioned a few here. Mm. And we uh, also make sure that we can manufacture and, and distribute them in a, a good manner. We have inaugurated this month the new facility for Robovan, <clears throat> where we will increase their capabilities and efficiency. We have taken over the Helsing Boys site and they have started to move in and there will be an inauguration in, in February, etc. At the same time, we are continuously spending uh, resources on development for better, more efficient products uh, and innovation is an important part of our clean air journey and again this is important to keep the distance and increase the distance to local regional competition that is our main competitive base <clears throat> and we will see when the market uh, becomes more interested in buying, so to say. But when we see a turn in the economy, we are ready. We have planned for that and uh, uh, we will continue to do so. Talking about innovation, I mean, as you say, you do that throughout the world in many different ways. One area is connected services or digitalization mm -hmm. in sight. Yep. And you have recruited people to that and so on. How is that going? Now it goes uh, so far quite well. We uh, have launched new products and we are increasing uh, the capability internally to handle and further develop this. What we then can give our customers is more knowledge uh, about their performance in the factories, in our product, etc. We also <clears throat> give them the capability of being more efficient. 
We give them data uh, to save energy. We have the energy save system. So again, we are using the digitalization and the, what digitalization brings to you to convert that into um, positive tech for in the traditional industry, which we are serving. Mm -hmm. Um, the final question, uh, you, you, in the report you conclude that mac ma the macro uncertainties remains at the same time as Nederman stands strong. Um, you talk about structural growth. Uh, how do you look at the close and maybe more long-term future for Nederman? Yeah, but <clears throat> for the long term, the, the, long term uh, the future is very bright. We uh, <clears throat> have leading technologies, we have a leading position. We are attracting good uh, workforce and we have uh, and are about to finalize uh, a more efficient manufacturing sites. So we are prepared and we continue to move forward. Uh, short term, I uh, believe that the order book we have for this quarter and uh, some easing in the, in the market uh, situation bodes well for a, a decent fourth quarter. <clears throat> but again, we have a massive uncertainty. We see it in uh, uh, around the uh, South Chinese Sea. We see it in Ukraine. We see it in the Middle East. And of course, that can have a depressing effect on the macroeconomic situation. But uh, I'm slightly more positive now. I think that there is a possibility that we, uh, we will see some uh, return uh, in the market. Then I thank you very much, Sven, and uh, we are looking forward to the year-end year report later on. Thank you very much. Thank you. We live in a new time. Let's sing for the good ones And all the ones we love We live in a great time